welcome to Taco Tuesday. <laughs> um, so it has been a few days since I've recorded a Vlogtober video. And because of that, I missed Emily of Fibertown's birthday, which was on the 19th. Happy birthday, Emily. I hope you had a really, really, really great birthday. Uh, I'm so sorry I missed it, but I hope it was rad. Okay, so moving on, I have been working on my Gemini pullover, which I don't know, I guess is a working title. I have no idea. But um, it's a sweater that I am designing out of Moonstone Dye Works in the Gemini colorway. This is the Merino Single Base, and this is the Mohair Silk Lace Weight. I'm holding them together, and I'm doing a top-down raglan v-neck pullover. So I'm at the point where I have joined, I've separated the sleeves from the body and joined in the round. And I love it so far. So what I thought I would do now is try it on and see how it's fitting. So let's do it. So what I do when I try things on when I'm knitting them is I transfer them to a longer needle. Um, and depending on the needle that I'm using, there's different ways of doing that. I'm using my Haya Haya interchangeables, which unfortunately you can't combine cables with. Because um, if I could combine cables, I could just use a little cable connector and make the cable really, really long. And then I could try it on. You can probably buy them, but I don't have any. But so what I did is I just took my longest Lika cable, put a needle on it, and transferred it to that. So that's what it's on right now. And I'm hoping, like, this is all the leeway I have. <laughs> so I'm hoping it doesn't fall off. Here we go. All right, it seems good so far. So I've got a nice deep V, which was what I was really hoping for. I didn't wanna, I wanted a nice deep neckline. Um, so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is, instead of doing ribbing for the neckband, what I'm gonna do is pick up and bind off immediately all the neckband stitches once I'm all done with the sweater um, to kind of give it a little more raw-ish looking finish and to not add much more fabric to bring the neckline up, which is what I don't want to do. So my sleeves are looking pretty good. There's the back. And all the stitches are still on my needle, so we're good there. <laughs> and I'm just about 10 rows into the body, so I'm thinking what I'm going to do is start doing um, decreases. I don't know, maybe starting about here. I was, I thought I might start them sooner, but I think I'll start them down a little more towards the waist. And we'll see where I go from there. My original intention was to do a crop top, but I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it here. <laughs> so, so far I love it. It's turning out really well. I'm really happy with this experiment so far. All right, let's take it off and see if I can not lose my stitches. Success. So Miss Lucy is up from her nap, and we are about to make some lunch. 
I'm gonna have some leftover baked rigatoni from last night. I used the recipe from Binging with Babish, which is a YouTube channel. Uh, if you look up Binging with Babish's uh, baked ziti episode, uh, that's where the recipe is, and I used his baked rigatoni version because he did a few different versions, and it was really good. And I'm gonna have some leftovers for lunch. <laughs> and um, Lucy will have a little bit too, and she will have some avocado because this is a California kid. She eats avocado every single day since she very first started eating food. It was her first solid food and she loves it. And it's awesome because it's super fatty and she's a super skinny baby. So I, uh, uh, she eats it every day. So she's gonna have some of that too. All right, let's get going. Let's get going. Okay, so we just finished lunch and now we have some leftovers to give to the chickens and some scraps to put in the compost bin. So let's go do it. You got it. Oh, good job. <laughs> Lucy is down for her second nap right now, which should be a pretty short one. And so I have just finished taking pictures of the yarn that I am going to be uploading in the shop. Hopefully today, hopefully before she wakes up, maybe we'll see. But um, I have two colorways that I'm gonna be putting up in the shop today. Uh, and these are them. So I've dyed some stardust on my mohair base. And then this is my new colorway that I was talking about the other day that was inspired by Natalie Wynn of ContraPoints. This is called Decaying Opulence. And I love it. So uh, I just finished taking pictures of it now. I take shop photos on my DSLR, which is a Canon, the Canon EOS Rebel T3. And in case you're curious, the way I'm not like the best photographer in the world, but I've tried to research pretty hard how to get kind of color accurate photos. So I use studio lights, I use my DSLR, and um, I use one of these. This, since I started using this tool, like my pictures have gotten way more accurate than they used to be. This is a white balance card. And I just got this on Amazon. It's like the, you know, pocket sized version. I think it was like maybe $10 or something. And it's this card and there's a bunch of different ways that you can use these types of cards. But how I do it is I put this card somewhere in the photo that I'm taking of my yarn. And then I import that photo into a photo editing program. I use GIMP, which is uh, an open sourced free program that you can get. Uh, it's G-I-M-P. 
Okay, so I've got this image opened up in GIMP. And as you can see, this is the whole image and this is the card right down here at the bottom. So what I do, and I don't know how you would do it in other programs, but this is what I do in GIMP. I go to Colors, I go to Levels, and it opens up this box over here, most of which I don't understand. But what I do, it's called Adjust Color Levels. I go to this picker right here. And what this does is it allows you to pick anywhere in the picture that is either completely black, gray, or completely white. So I use the white picker. So I click on the white picker. I don't know if that's what it's called. <laughs> I don't know the actual name. And I am going to click on the white box. And what that does is you're giving the computer an example of a proper white color that it can use to adjust the white balance of the rest of the picture. So that's what I've done. It looks definitely looks different on the screen here on your screen <laughs> because it's a screen recording a screen. But what it's done is it's made the picture an accurate white balance in color. Like I said, I do not know the terminology. So anyway, then I hit OK, and then from here, because I don't want this actually in my picture, I just crop it out. So, let's see. And there we go. That's my shop photo. So, if you're someone who takes pictures of products or something, I highly recommend a white balance card. It's really, really great. So I'm going to continue doing that. Um, I have a bunch of photos to edit and then what I'll be doing is creating all of the shop listings and then hopefully making those live pretty soon. I've taken a couple of fancy little pictures too for Instagram so hopefully I'll be putting those up on Instagram soon as well. I'm hoping to have that all done today so we'll see how it goes. It depends on when Lucy wakes up and stuff like that. So I I'm signing off for the day because I have a lot more work to do before the day's over. And hopefully, I will talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye. Happy Taco Tuesday. I am having tacos for dinner, but um, we're just going to have to leave it mysteriously at that because I'm not going to film it. I hope you are having tacos for dinner tonight, too. I'm Dan. I hope you're wearing your Taco Tuesday shirt because pizza. Bye.